Obviously, you do have Barry in camp with you. Was that was that by design? Was that obviously he's got some uh, some knowledge on Danny Garcia? Yeah, it's by design. Me and Barry and Sean go back over 20 years. So um, Sean's been in the ring, and that and Barry's been in the ring with Sean since Sean's 10 years old. So this is nothing wow. new. Um, at least 10 of Sean's professional fights, Barry has been in the corner with us. You know, we just didn't. Uh, we didn't announce that to everybody that he was going to be here now, and it wasn't announced when he's worked with Sean before. We just always had a great relationship. Mm. So I've known Barry since Sean was 10 years old, wow. 20 years. Wow, wow. How instrumental is that having just another set of eyes in there, someone that's known Sean for that long? For us, it's natural. Mm -hmm. For Barry, it's natural. Um, it just fits. It always has. And um, I'm sure when, when, when he came in and Sean seen him, that it was, you know, just a, a great energy when, when Sean first saw him. Mm -hmm. Any last words for the fans? Or, or, or Barry, I mean, do you have anything to say about the fight coming up, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia? Fair assessment from Kenny is that Danny has trouble with movement. Tune in. Tune in. September 8th. September 8th. You know I ain't much of a talker. No. That's a lie. Uh, That's uh, a lie. Uh, he, this man can talk. I know. I ain't believing that. There's a difference in only when it's necessary yeah. to do so. Mm. But for the most part, um, you know, I know these two. Mm. I mean, I don't just get out my bed or leave <laughs> my house for anybody. <laughs> right, so right, right. I'm not in Southeast DC or Maryland. I'm in Las Vegas because of these two right here. Mm. You know I mean, so it's all love. This family right here. So, yeah. uh, and, and 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 I'm more than happy to take the ride with them. Mm. So. Yes, we will be ready and just tune in. Tune in. Kenny? Yeah, yeah, well, it's just what he just said. See, when the boxing thing over, this is still going to be my son. True. No yeah. matter what happened in the boxing, from the day he started to the day he end, when it's over, he's still going to be my son. And another thing that's guaranteed, when the boxing is over, that's still going to be my brother. Mm. See, and the way that we've been brothers all these years is a way that people never understood and never experienced because all they do is they, as he said, turn in, tune in on Saturday night and this is all they see. But they didn't see us in Astro vans with six, eight, ten kids. They didn't see us wow. in little tiny cars, rentals with four, five, eight kids and things like that. They didn't see us stand in a hotel room with ten people in one room with two beds. They didn't see these things. Mm. They didn't see us finding out that some of our guys couldn't pay for the room on the last day of the championship, wow. and they were in their cars Sweet. with their kids wow. getting ready to get, you know, they trying to get some rest and getting ready to get ready for these fights tonight, but they ain't got nowhere to stay. Mm. And I went in my pocket and I said, hey, man, what's going on? Take mm. this. Mm -hmm. They didn't see that. So we came through that together. So when I make that phone call to him, he's coming for the real reasons. Mm. So when the boxing is over with, the win, the lose, the draw, the whatever it is, the Sean Porters of the world, the Lamont Petersons of the world, the Anthony Petersons of the world, the Barry Hunters of the world, they st we still family mm -hmm. when it's over with. We, when this is done, we still family. We've never allowed this to change us. Mm -hmm. Barry's remained the same. From the time Sean was fighting his guys when he was 10 years old, to Sean was fighting his guys when he was in Olympic trials, mm. to the times that me and Barry was on teams in USA versus Ireland and Italy or in Venezuela and other countries, whatever it is, to professional ranks right now. But when this thing is all said and done, we still gonna be family. Mm. And that's what's missing for most of these guys. They weren't brought through the ranks a certain way. There weren't the protocols that they needed to learn and understand, as Barry mentioned this to me the other day, coaches come to his place, they want to be superstar coaches, and they went through nothing. Wow. <laughs> they want to be taste. superstar star coaches, and they ain't been through nothing. Mm. Haven't been through one certification, level one wow. certification, but they want, hey, can you call certain people and tell them that I'm coming out there and I want to meet them, and all these kind of things like that. And so the stuff we went through in the trenches, mm -hmm. Just to get here today and still have a mindset like we have right now that we're nowhere. Right. That we haven't done anything. People don't understand that. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to understand that. It's up to us 
to keep doing what we're doing, and when we're done with this, say, okay, we did everything we could do. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to him talk. I'm listening to Kenny talk right now. I mean, you just brought back so many years of memory. Yeah. You know I mean, I'm serious. Remember them times when you come out in that parking lot and you see that car full of people? Uh -huh. Wait a minute, how come they're not in the hotel? <laughs> you know when I knew it was real? When the grind was real? It's a true story, man. I ain't going to name because they might be embarrassed. But one of the coaches and uh, his son was a hell of a fighter, as a matter of fact. Like Kenny said, they didn't have no place to stay, so they sleeping in the garage. Mm -hmm. The warm they food up, bro. Cut the car engine on, let the engine get hot, and put a, a, a pan, one of them aluminum pan, wow. with beans and hot dogs on, on top of the engine and warm his food up. Wow. <laughs> That's real. I mean, wow. that's a true story. That's real. Mike Stafford called me today. Mm -hmm. He's in D.C. So he's going past the gym. A bunch of kids with him. He still travels the nation with them 10 kids. Mm -hmm. Or better. You wow. know what I mean? Listen, this ain't for no millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. This ain't for no uh, ranking. This ain't for none of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is for the man don't have to do it. Right. It will take a hell of an individual to get that type of time and the greatest sacrifice mm -hmm. that one could give is all of oneself. Mm -hmm. So to do that for some people that you don't have no genetic uh, uh, connection with, mm -hmm. man, it's just crazy, man. Wow. I mean, and, and, and a lot of times, mm -hmm. same people that he sacrificed for ain't there for him. Mm. Oh no, they ain't gonna be there for him. I mean, mm. the ground. Mm. I lived it, he lived it. Wow, wow. Gentlemen, thank you. I appreciate Shoot that. You. You. Always speaking facts. Always speaking facts. Oh, hey, that's a around. Check this out here. Oh, hold on. I, I ain't allowed to put that on, on film, right? Yes. Check, 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 check some of this stuff out here. Yeah. Now, we, talk about, we were talking about grinding, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the battery needs so, to change. Uh, okay. When you look at Kenny now and Sean now, you know, and God bless them, you know, but like he said, like he spoke on, nobody see the beginning. They tend to see, you know, where you're at now. Mm -hmm. But it was a road, bro. I'm telling you, man. And we still to this day get calls from some of them coaches. Some of them uh, sons or fighters became world champ. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, you see that, you see the fighter. You see the belts and maybe some of the riches. Mm -hmm. But somebody behind that fighter pushed them to that level to get there. You don't see the coaches. They just start thinking one of the governing bodies now and give a coach a belt. Right. But, oh, oh, before, yeah. but before then, you know, the coach, he do all the training, pushing, and I mean, it's a job. Mm -hmm. It's a job. And you got to deal with all various type of egos. But when the fighter get the belt or get the win, the check for the most part is in the fighter's name. Mm -hmm. The belt go to the fighter. Mm -hmm. You still had a cut man in that corner. You had a chief second, you had a second. You had all these people and they just stand there. Look, nobody knows who the hell they are, for mm -hmm. the most part. Unless you should happen to get to a level that Kenny and I got to. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I take my hat off to a lot of them coaches, man, that don't nobody see. You know what I mean? That's passionate about what they do and really do care about what they do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, keep doing what you're doing, you know what I mean? Because you're making a difference out here. Yeah. Even though don't know, you know, a lot of people don't see you know, the majority of us that's in this game recognize that man and, you know, more power to you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. You're welcome. Appreciate it, as always, Kenny. Thank you, sir.